Welcome back. Do you hear a ringing? The latest Scream movie creeps its way into theaters this week, but before you head to the movies, Rick Damagella has a look at the history of the legendary film series. Scream 6 finds Ghostface stalking their victims in the Big Apple. The Fright Flick franchise has been scaring moviegoers since 1996. Hello. Hello. I don't know if anyone could forget the first time they saw Drew Barrymore on the phone being asked about scary movies, what her favorite scary movies are. And it's just such a visceral, intense, fascinating sequence. One of the best in horror, to be honest. Many sequels have surpassed their original. Oh, yeah? Name one. Scream 2 did a pretty damn good job at bringing back the energy, bringing back the kind of playing with the idea of, oh, see, you've seen sequels, but so you should know what's going on. You are not dealing with a sequel. You are dealing with the concluding chapter of a trilogy. That's right. It's in my opinion, Scream 3 is the weakest, but it ain't bad. There are moments here that work. There's a killer out there patterning his murders after the original movie. The series didn't end with the third movie, but 11 years did pass until Scream 4. Again, not a favorite of mine. I have some issues with it. I think it was the, the reveal, the killer reveal is a little silly, and there's things I didn't like about it. But again, there's great moments. It's not a bad film. When you like to play a game, Another 11 years would go by before the franchise reboot simply named Scream. I liked it enough to be curious to see where they would go with the follow-up. Bringing us to 2023 and Scream 6. Ghostface is an interesting character, simply because Ghostface can be anybody. You know, you have, you can have, and they, they can play with that kind of, oh, it's a popular mask, everyone wears it. And it, it looks to me like they're going to utilize that quite a bit in Scream 6. Watching with the lights on in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella.